What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tip for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about how you can edit multiple objects at once inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is a really quick tip but it's something that I've found useful. So let's say for example that we had a couple different cubes in here. So let's say that I created this cube and then I use, a sh then I use Shift D to duplicate it and then I use Shift D to duplicate it again. So I had a couple different copies of different objects in here. Um, so one of the things that can get a little bit frustrating is if you want to edit these different objects, right? So let's say for example that you wanted to come in here and we'll just move some vertices around just to make this a simple example. So um, one of the problems with this is let's say that you wanted to go over to this box and make a change or if you wanted to make uniform changes to multiple different objects, you can't do that the way that I have this selected right now. However, there's a really easy way to get around this, which is when you're in object mode, which I'm going to hit tab to go back to object mode. If you do a shift click to select multiple different objects like this, and then hit the tab key, now I can come in here and I can edit multiple different vertices or different other things at once. So if I wanted to move these around, um, you can see how I can select those on all those different objects, even though they're different objects inside of your organ organization. So this will work for other tools as well. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to work on these faces and we wanted to inset these faces. You can see how I can select these and inset all of these at once. So let's say I wanted to take multiple different faces like this and extrude them inward. You can see I can take this and do these all at once when I have all of these selected before I go into edit mode. So that means that if you want to make like a whole bunch of uniform changes or something like that, you can definitely do that using this trick. And so one other thing I might recommend is also understanding the individual origins or pivot point options. So let's say for example right now if I was to select all of these, and I'm going to go back to my box select, but if I was just to do a shift click to select all of these, right now if I scale them all in, what's going to happen is those are going to get scaled across the central point of, uh, of the of all of the objects that I have selected. And that's not necessarily what I want, but what I can do is I can go up to this button right here, click on it, and click on Individual Origins. And now if I click the Scale tool, these are now going to get scaled based on the origins of each individual object. So if I wanted to, for example, um, scale these up or down, so by selecting the individual origins option, you can make these changes around the, the origins of each individual object as opposed to around the whole thing. So if you select that option for individual origins, then you can start making changes around each individual object and their central origin point all at the same time. So this can be a big time saver for creating complex objects or also multiple objects at once. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did you know you could do this? Have you been using it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.